Is embroidery a cheap hobby? That's a complicated question. Embroidery is an art form. In other handcrafts like sewing, knitting, or quilting, then hopefully when you're done, you get a useful item like a skirt or a bag or a sweater or a blanket. But embroidery is just used to embellish and make things beautiful. So you might get a picture or a piece that you can hang on the wall, or you'll just have a prettier piece of clothing or bag or towel. So it's really difficult to put a monetary number onto a finished product because it doesn't have a large market value. If you want to do hand embroidery as a job, then it's probably much easier to make money doing something else. Unless you're in very specific circumstance, um, you're not going to be able to support yourself by doing hand embroidery. But if you want to do embroidery to express your creativity, to challenge yourself, to make something beautiful, then it can be a great hobby choice. So studies have shown that being creative and making things with your hand is good for your mental health. And especially in this era that is becoming so digital and online, it's much more important to actually take time to do something physical with your hands. And embroidery can be a great way to be creative. Compared to most other fiber arts, like sewing, quilting, weaving, knitting, crochet, all those things, embroidery is pretty expensive to do. All you need to get started is a needle, thread, and maybe a hoop. And you can even start by just stitching on things that you already have around the house. Now, does a tea towel with hand embroidery on it dry dishes better than just a plain tea towel? No but it might make you smile when you pick it up and it's hard to put a price on that. So it is certainly possible to spend a lot of money on embroidery and some people do, but you can enjoy this hobby on any budget. And if you compare embroidery to other recreational activities like skiing or golf, then embroidery is practically free. If you wanna get started with embroidery or see some inspiration, you can find tutorials and lots of project ideas at my website, evadestudio.com.